Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making masala rolls. Let's get started. So first, you will need boiled mashed potatoes, red chili powder, jiru, garam masala, um, amchur powder, naranjiru, uh, tiny cut green peppers, and cilantro, and a pinch of salt. Okay, so now we're going to mix everything. So I have already put the jiru and the red chili powder in. Now we're going to put the garam masala, amchur powder, and naranjiru. Then we are going to put the cut, tiny cut green peppers and cilantro. Now we're going to mix all of this together by hand. And we will see you after we're done. We are going to add a uh, pinch of salt like uh, it's how you want it to taste. I'm about gonna add this much. You add it to the musad. So we'll be back after we are done mixing this. So make sure you boil some green peas, and after they are done, you are going to add them into the mashed potatoes. And mix well. Now you are going to make a dough out of all-purpose flour, uh, soji, oil, and salt. So first you're going to measure out some um, all-purpose flour. We added two, two, two cups, and then we're going to add some soji. Oil, as much as you need. And then salt on however much you like it to be. Now you're going to mix well until it, it turns into a complete dough. But make sure you add water. So now mix all of those three ingredients and then add water. Make sure you turn it into a, not a soft dough but a very hard dough because that will... Um, help the samosas um, turn tiny. So add little by little as you go. Okay, now we're gonna sprinkle some cornstarch on wherever you are going to be rolling the dough. And make sure you have uh, dough rolled into however many pieces you want. We have three giant ones. Now I'm gonna mix them up. Okay, now we're gonna use a roller pin and roll it out. Make sure you make it thin. We'll be back after all of my pieces are rolled into flat pieces. So after you are done rolling all of the pieces of dough out, make sure you turn the masado into however many pieces of dough you had. Now you're going to put the roll of masado into the, into the dough flat piece. Now you're going to flat it out like that. Now you're going to keep some space to roll it in. So make sure you get all the edges, all the corners. So after, you, after you put it into all of the corners and leave some space, you're going to roll it out. You're going to roll the dough. So now we're going to cut the ends off just to get a good pinwheel. And then we're going to cut them into pieces.
Now we're going to round them a little bit. There you go, it makes a pinwheel. Now we are going to put all of the other ones, put them into a pan. Just like that. So now we are going to take some all-purpose flour and some water and mix it up to make a flour and water mixture. And make sure it's very watery. Add a lot of water. Make sure it doesn't turn into a dough. A little bit thinner than this texture. So we want it about this texture. Now we're gonna take the pin rolls and now we're gonna put them inside, dip them a little bit. Now we're gonna put them in. Make sure the stove is not too high. low gas, about five of them, until they're golden brown. So you're going to keep on doing this until all of them are done. Now we're going to be making two types of chutney slash. First we're going to put some garlic, some ginger root, tomatoes, just a little bit, not too much, some boiled um, red chilies. Some salt, and two spoons of lemon. Now we are going to crush this all up in a mixer and a grinder. We will add water to turn it into a chutney. is made out of um, cilantro. So first we're going to put a little bit of cilantro in, some serrano paper, peppers, garlic, salt, and one spoon full of lemon. So now we're going to add some water to turn it into a chutney. Now we're going to
this looks so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more like this, um, click the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, and give me a huge thumbs up. And then comment down below if you like these pinwheels. Thank you.